Historically, labeling corridor points in cross-section views has been a challenge. In the event labeled points end up too close together, the labels can overlap, making them difficult to read. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about this issue anymore because Civil 3D 2015 allows corridor point labels to be staggered, allowing every label to be placed such that it's readable. Let's take a look. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a road reconstruction project. If I zoom in, I can hover over some of the data. We can see that we have an existing surface. I have a corridor. I have an alignment. There's a proposed surface here. And I've created some sample lines. So at this point, I'm ready to create cross-section views. Let's start by creating some classic cross-section views. I'll start by zooming out and I'll pan the drawing over. I'd like to create some cross-section views with a horizontal scale of 1 inch equals 10 feet. So I'll open the Drawing Scale menu, and I'll choose that scale. I will then move up and open the Section Views menu, and I'll select Create Multiple Views. Fortunately, the template that I'm using has assigned all of the default styles for me. So I'll come down and click Create Section Views, and then I'll click on Screen to place my sections. Let's zoom in on cross-section 1 plus 0, 0. This represents a classic cross-section view. If I zoom in over on the left side, you can see that my labels for the daylight, edge of paved shoulder, and edge of traveled way are encroaching on each other, causing these values to be difficult to read. Now, when we're talking about cross-section labels, there are two types. There's this type that's associated with the corridor. Corridor labels are assigned within the code set style. The style I'm using here is called ADESC Sections Plot. The other label type is associated with section surfaces. While I'm not using any of those labels in this view currently, sectioned surface labels can be staggered. In Civil 3D 2015, our corridor point labels can now participate in this staggering. Let me show you how I've set this up. I'm going to start by going over to the Settings tab, and then I'll open the General category, I'll open Multipurpose Styles, and then I'll open Code Set Styles. I will then double-click on the Code Set Style being used in this drawing, and here on the Codes tab, Let's open up the point category, and right here we can see the label style that has been assigned to all of my desired points. There's one for crown, one for daylight, as well as a few others. I'm going to click the price tag icon to edit this style, and in the pick style dialog box I'll click this blue square to bring up the editor, and we can see a rough representation of the style that I'm using currently. This style consists of a line component, as well as a label for the point code, the offset, and the elevation. Let's close this. I'll close the rest of these dialog boxes. I will then close the general category, and let's come down to section. Remember, this is the other label type. Under label styles, we'll find the section label styles associated with surfaces. At the bottom of the label styles category is a new option called corridor points. Let me click the plus to expand this. I'll double click to edit this style. You can see that the style that I created looks identical to the one that I'm using in my code set style. It's created the exact same way. Let's close this dialog box. To apply the new label style and get the labels to stagger, they need to be part of a label set. So on the Settings tab, I'll right-click on Label Sets and choose New. I'll call this style ADESC Staggered Labels. And then on the Labels tab, I'll open the Type menu, and I'll choose Corridor Points. I'll select the label style that I made and click Add. And then down on the far right side, I'll turn on Staggering. I'll choose Stagger Both Sides. And then I'll assign values for the Stagger Line Height 1 and 2. These two values represent the dimensions of the bent portion of the leader. Generally speaking, the leader will be drawn straight up a height of 0.1, and then it will be bent at whatever angles necessary to allow the labels to be readable. The height of the bent segment will measure 0.15. Feel free to experiment with your own measurements to find the appearance that you like. I'll click OK when finished. Well, now that we've created our corridor point label style, and we've put that within a label set and turned on staggering, all we need to do is tell Civil 3D that we'd like to use these new labels. We'll do that on the Settings tab. I'll open the Section View category, and I'll expand the Commands group. I will then right-click on Create Multiple Section View and choose Edit Command Settings. From here, I'll expand Section View Creation, and right here, Corridor Point Code Labeling Method. We can see that by default, it's labeling using the Section Code Set style. This is classic behavior. If I'd like this command to use the new Corridor Point Labels, I'll expand the menu and choose Section Label Set, and I'll click OK. If you were to make that change in your template, for instance, you can take advantage of this new labeling method in every new drawing. Let's take a look at the new feature in action. To do that, I'm going to remove these sections and I'll create some new ones. I'm going to visit the Prospector tab. I'll open Alignments, Center Line Alignments. I'll open the alignment that my sample lines are associated with. 
and I'll keep drilling down until I find the section view group. I will then right click on the group and choose delete to remove it from the drawing. To create new section views I'll open the section views menu and I'll choose create multiple views. Remember I've changed the properties of this command now. I'll be creating the section views using my alignment and sample line group. The naming templates already selected as is the grid style for the section views. I'm going to be pulling these using a production placement. I've already selected the drawing and the layout that I'd like to use, as well as the group plot style. The offsets are automatic, so they'll be based on the length of the sample lines. Elevation range is automatic as well. And under section display options, we have a new option that was not available in Civil 3D 2014 and prior. We can now associate a label set with our section to corridor. I'm going to click this setting and I'll choose the label set we created earlier and I'll click OK. So the way this works, the code set style that I've chosen here is going to determine which points are labeled. The label set will determine what that label looks like and it will ensure that the labels are staggered. Let's click Next. I'm going to stick with my default data bands and I'll choose Create Section Views and then I'll click on Screen to create the views. Once again we'll zoom in on cross section 1 plus 0, 0 and we can see the difference in the labeling. Now at this point you may be wondering, what if you already have your sections created? Is there any way that you can change the labels on existing sections? And the answer is yes. There is a new command in Civil 3D 2015. It's called Corridor Section Labels Convert. Using this command I can switch between the classic code set style labels and the new point code labels. When I launch the command I am then asked to select the section views I'd like to convert. In this case I'm going to type all and I'll press enter twice. I can then choose classic labels or the new corridor point style labels. Let's choose classic and then I'll regen the drawing. Let's relaunch the command and go back to the new label style. I'll do that by right clicking and under the recent input menu I'll choose corridor section labels convert. Once again I'll type all and press enter twice. I will then choose the new labeling method and then I'll regen the drawing. And in this case the labels have disappeared. On occasion when flipping from one method to the other you may lose your labels. That's alright I can get them back very easily by selecting my grid. I'll come up to view group properties and here on the sections tab I'll open the label set associated with the corridor and I'll reselect my staggered labels label set that I made earlier. I'll choose OK and OK. So from now on when you need to label corridor points in cross-section views consider using the new corridor point label. By incorporating this new style along with a little staggering you can be certain that every corridor station and offset is readable no matter how many points you decide to label.